Where's Barnaby? Oh, he wasn't very, he wasn't feeling very well. He went to see Dr. Lang. Well, he was fine when he came in. It happened quite suddenly. Oh, I hope our talk didn't upset him. I'll get that. What's the matter? That man! Impossible! What are you talking about? What's impossible? I don't understand. She just opened the door. Who are you and what do you want? My name is Harry Johnson. Johnson? Yes, I, I, I've come to visit my mother. Oh, I'm sorry. Vicky, this is Mrs. Johnson's son. She told me she was, was expecting you to visit. Do you know him from somewhere? No. I'm sorry if I startled you. I didn't mean to. It's what? all right. Why did you scream? Mrs. Stoddard, do you remember I told you when I was in the past that I shot someone? Yes. Well, this man, he looks exactly like him. And when I opened the door and saw him, I was terrified. I heard someone scream. Harry, when did you get here? He just arrived. It was just a case of mistaken identity. Mistaken identity? Yes, this lady thought I was someone Be else. Quiet, and she... Harry. Mrs. Stoddard, what happened? Now, don't get upset, Mrs. Johnson. I'm sure your son will be glad to explain it to you while I take Vicky upstairs. Come on, Vicky. Come in here. Now, what did you do? I didn't do anything. Then what did you say to her? Nothing. Don't tell me nothing. A young lady like Miss Winters doesn't scream for just nothing. I don't know what's wrong with her. If there's anything wrong with anyone, it's with you. Thanks. Now, tell me what happened. The lady just told you she thought I was someone else. All right, I'll just wait till Mrs. Stoddard gets down and see if that's what really happened. Oh, great. <laughs> just like the old times, right, Ma? Don't believe anything I say, but believe everybody else. With your talent for getting into trouble, I usually had no other choice. Can't you break down a little just once and give me a chance? I told you, I've changed. And I told you, you're on trial here until you prove that to me. All right, then I'll prove it. Stop worrying about it. You didn't get off to a very good start. Will you stop talking about what just happened? It wouldn't have happened if you'd used your head. What am I supposed to be, psychic? How am I supposed to know some girl will come to the door, take one look at me, and scream her head off? Well, you shouldn't have come to that entrance. You should have come around to the back entrance. All right, I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I hope it doesn't. I hope you've changed for your good. Because if you should happen to do anything again, if it should just happen that you get, uh, what was that that you call that? Itchy fingers. Yes. If you should make a mistake like that again, I couldn't help you this time. They'd send you back to prison, and this time they'd throw away the key. 